hello everyone today we are going to work on uh, how to implement uh, cars driving in both directions of the road so now as you can see here you can see now cars can drive in this direction also in the other direction in the road continuously in a loop without crashing into each other So yeah, let's see how to implement this today. Uh, and if I set the driving side as left, so by making this drive on right false, so the cars would be driving in the left lane. So that also works, see. okay so yeah let's see how to implement this today so now these cars can select a lane and continue going along the road so at the moment I have selected right side as the side the cars are driving so that's why they are driving in the right side so yeah the next uh, step of the system is to allow cars to drive in both directions at the moment they are only driving in this direction so that's what i want to work on next all right so let me open one of the club cover blueprints and uh, the driving direction is decided based on this distance increment gap so if this is to become negative the car should be driving backwards but that alone will not do it we will have to do some other changes as well but yeah so first uh, let's add a variable driving forward by default it should be true right then here we will have to multiply this with uh, either a positive one or a negative one based on the driving direction so one or minus one based on driving forward value I'll make this uh, instance editable so that I can change this value for each instance of the car as I like okay that's one part uh, another part would that I will have to change would be here when we set uh, no not here uh, ah, yeah. other than this part if we are going backward along this spline so if the spline distance becomes negative then we should switch to the end uh, we should set the target spline distance as the end point length of the end point of the spline so so that it will allow the car to move continuously back uh, in the backward direction of this spline right then uh, how do we check if this becomes negative if this is less than zero well checking is not not that hard then 
Hmm, we need another branch here. If this is true, if this is false, this is the path we need to take. If this is true, we should set target supply and distance as the length of the supply. Okay, and one more place I need to update is get in the left left lane and right lane and also find the next target so when we find the next target here we increment the supply and distance using a positive number so that's fine yeah, but after getting the positive number we should get a point before the closest point as the next target since we are as we are driving backwards instead of getting a location in front of the closest point so mm, here Branch driving forward. If you are driving forward, this is correct, but if you are driving backward, set target plan distance as get the current point and subtract thousand units and take that point and if this is less than zero to a selection if this is less than zero we should use the spline length as the target value Otherwise, we can use the same value. <laughs> okay, now let's check without making any changes if the cars are driving correctly. Uh, I still didn't change the driving side, but the car seems car seems to work fine. Drive inside. Where do I change it? Ah, here. Yeah. Drive on right. Okay. So this is if we are going forward. This logic is correct if we are going forward. Mm, but we have to do another selection oh no not here mm, here select plot if we are driving forward this is correct otherwise uh, this should be inverted that means multiplied by uh, minus 1 right now for all the cars let me change make this false the driving forward and let's see if it works still It is working. <laughs> and 
and they are still driving on the right side on the right lane which is correct and when they switch the uh, when they reach the end of the spline the looping also happens correctly but why some change happen here wait something odd happened here uh, that may be because of this change in rotation so if I mesh it it should be fine let's see oh sorry after making any changes into this plane I had to recompile the cars otherwise it becomes problematic still this song bit this looks a bit awkward see the target point goes here for some reason for temporarily only temporary but target point goes over there right let's see if this fixes the issue oh sorry need to compile yeah now it doesn't happen anymore great maybe some issue in the spline but when the endpoints are closer together it works fine okay now let's try by giving some cars to drive on right side so drive backward and others to drive forward since there are many cars that can cause collisions uh, uh, what's the default let's set the default to drive forward and I'll set these cars to drive backward right and also to prevent that error happening we can try this actually I'm setting this road spline here so we can do that here also just in case if we don't have a reference great now these cars going in the other direction while other cars going in the opposite direction <laughs> okay so let's 
make few more cars to go backward this one this one also this one Right. Great. All right. So that part is also complete. Mm. Fine. Now the next uh, goal is to have some variable speed. So in straight parts, the car should go faster. Uh, otherwise, the car should break. And also implementing some overtaking mechanism. I'm still not sure how to do that. So yeah, let's look into those improvements in future episodes. So thanks for watching. As always project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.